What's up everybody, Poke Chaos here, back for part four of my Pokemon Insurgents randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, I made it to Midna Town, the first real town of the game, and now I am in the Midna Mine looking for Nora, so we can get the Trainer School Tournament started. If you guys have been enjoying this series, do make sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and go check out the previous episodes as well. And we're going to go over the team real quick. We have three Pokemon as of right now. We have Bully, the Sneasel, level 17 uh, with a gentle nature, which doesn't really hurt. It doesn't really help either. Uh, the IVs hurt more than anything being 30 or being one attack IV but icy wind taunt quick attack and faint attack we're gonna make it work we have Becky the Mrs. Mime with confusion barrier double slap and mimic and Paula the level 18 ducklet with water gun water pulse defog and aerial ace so uh, there may not be any new encounters today I did battle her already. I didn't remember exactly where I'd stopped. No. So he's got a Charmeleon, a Delta Charmeleon, which is actually perfect for what I have. I was worried that it was going to be a regular Charmeleon and that I was going to be... Uh, not in a good position. It's got a bag on. Something that I would definitely like to run into for obvious reasons. But not when a trainer has it. And figured that wouldn't have done very much just because it's not stab. You know, it's ember for one. It's weak. And it's coming from a um, a dragon type Pokemon instead of a fire type Pokemon. Here would be a nice time to have a grass type, but we'll make do with what we have. I am a little over leveled, but I didn't want a repeat of last episode's unfortunateness. So, gotta. Sometimes you do have to stay ahead of the game in this game and we don't need Encore. Encore can be useful sometimes but I don't think it's going to be too useful in game here. Pick up that Super Potion and of course there's going to be a million more trainers. There's this girl training by herself deeper in the cave. It's so annoying. She won't let anyone through. Maybe she's the girl that I need to talk to. Vileplume's a Pokemon that you don't really see too often, and I wouldn't mind having a Vileplume on my team. The only problem with Vileplume is that because it's a stone evolution Pokemon, it doesn't really learn anything after it becomes Vileplume. So it's you have to keep it as a gloom or it's kind of useless. Uh, Mudkip. Well, everybody's level 18 now. Paul, or Bully's obviously almost level 19. But due to that paralysis, I don't want to stay in and have to deal with potential fully paralyzed, fully paralyzed. So we'll just take out this Mudkip fairly easily. With the help of some confusion hacks. And I think I should have oh, some paralyzed heals. No. Of course not. Okay. So I'll put Paula up front. I know I've been neglecting Paula because Paula's been the highest level. And we get an awakening. More just 
running around this circle of a cave. I do want to battle people just because it is helpful. I can't lower my defense. Uh, frost last, as long as you don't have stupid um, destiny bond, we'll be all right. And as far as I can tell, you didn't have it, so this could potentially be a problem, though. Okay, that is something that I have not seen before. A what I have to assume is a grass uh, delta species Snorlax that I'm not I'm playing a little risky with it. Oh, super potion that I apparently only have two of. And I healed the wrong Pokemon. Don't mind with me. Thank you. Whip would have killed. Can you at least get confused? Thank you. Combination of amnesia and all that other stuff is just annoying. I think I'm almost out. I'm almost to the end. Hopefully. Come on. Yep. Alright. The fossils are in place. You can do it, Salby. I believe in you. Move these fossils through time. Use Tesseract. And... She's now surrounded by Kabutops, Amistar, Bastiodon, and Armaldo. I can't believe it all of your hard work finally paid off. Armaldo, Bastiodon, Kabutops, and Amistar. Who would have ever thought they'd see the light of day again? You can turn them back now, Selby. I think we're done for the day. Can't believe how far we've... Who are you? How much did you see? Everything. Well, look, I don't know who you are, but you can't tell anyone about this. I'd be in grave danger. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. What was that? Is that? Could it be? You were chosen by Mew? I thought I was the only one. But if you were also chosen, then I should probably explain. Not many people know about it, but a long time ago there was a prophecy written about Torin. Nobody knows it word for word, but it talks about the cults and the auger. Said that a trainer chosen by one of the legendary Pokemon would be the one to find and defeat the cults. It also said that the legendary would be an illu illusory one. You know, like Mew, Victini, and Hoopa. When they found out the cults wanted to get rid of rid of the world of that trainer, people were terrified. Nobody knew who this hero was. And they feared he or she might never appear. But then the first auger came and he protected us. He was incredible. He took off half the cult on his own, but he disappeared a year ago. People think the prophecy was about him because he was friends with Hoopa, a legendary Pokemon, but he's gone now. Nobody knows where he is. The second auger has taken his place, and I don't think anyone he was chosen by anyone. That's why we can't let anybody know about Celebi. I'm afraid they'll come after me. I have to train down here in secret. I mean, I don't think I am the hero of the prophecy, but if Mew chose you as the prophecy, it could be about either of us. There might even be others. You can't let anyone know that Mew chose you. It hasn't joined your team yet, has it? That's probably why. It's concerned that if it does, it might become a target. So be careful from now on. We're too valuable to risk. The tournament and the trainer's goal I completely forgot. Well, I better head up there and fast. You better hurry too. Blah, 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 blah. This is just too much talking. But I think I can actually take these fossils. Somehow she turned a dome fossil into a Kabutops instead of a Kabuto. Like, they all just 
became the ones that were the fi or the final evolution. So maybe I can get out of here fairly quickly. Obviously, there's a little bit of a shortcut, uh, and then I still end up going the long way around or something. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Too many wild Pokemon. No, I don't want to use an item. I want to run. Yeah, I should have just... So that was a big waste of time. Can't even catch any of these Pokemon. Why would I want any of them? What? 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 Go away. The rest of this video is just going to be wild encounters in this frickin' cave keeps up. Come on, come on, come on. Going, I'm going, I'm going. There we go. So now, I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center and heal because I don't know how the tournament works exactly. I don't know if it doesn't heal your Pokemon, if it does. So we're not going to take any risks here. I'm also not sure how the levels in the tournament work or anything. I could be underleveled, I could be still overleveled. Who knows? But we'll find out. Thank you for finding Nora for me. Now that you're here, we can finally get started with this tournament. Everyone is waiting. Welcome, students. I hope you're all ready for one of the biggest tournaments we've had yet. We have two new students. I think we're excited to see how well they'll do. Uh, very eight-year students, ready to compete for the champion. I gotta fight Kyle. I gotta fight this stupid Jew. Come on, Kyle. You have something better than a tie rope, Kyle? Okay, so Bubble Beam. Uh, I mean, I know I have Water Pulse, but obviously wa Bubble Beam is better than Water Gun. Uh, Riolu, might as well just stay in. Uh, Bubble Beam and Water Pulse both have different changes. And of course, Nora is going to win her round. And Damien's gonna win his round. You have a Corphish. Uh, we'll see how much Aerial Ace does. I'll just keep Aerial Acing. These aren't really, like, super important battles. I mean, sure. I'm fighting Damien, essentially my rival, but... Doesn't make the battle super necessary to not speed through. And this, this speed's not too fast. Okay. Um. Dark fighting. I've already fought in a Blastoise before, so I should have known that in the first place. You cannot put your defense up right now. Come on. It's weird that he has the War Turtle in this tournament when it's randomized. These trainers are really giving it all. Let's direct our attention at the scoreboard one final time. Nobody 
didn't think that it was going to be me and Nora. Hopefully she's not cheating and using her Celebes. I do get healed in between, I think. I would like to get the chance to use Sneasel. Swaddle, that's chance to use Sneasel, I guess. I feel like her team isn't randomized. I feel like I've seen this exact team before. Maybe none of the teams in the tournament are randomized. <sighs> I didn't know it was going to go for Rock Slide. And I didn't know Rock Slide would kill. <sighs> what an amazing battle. Both trainers put up a great fight. But I won. What a tournament! Blah blah blah. I, well, I was off my seat with excitement. The battle between I, well, uh, it was okay. All right. TM twenty-seven for return. Here, Nora, for getting the second. Thank you. No. Blah 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 blah. Then we're gonna go to the next town with the gym. So, unfortunately, though, we're going to only go there with two Pokemon as of right now. I, I think, even though it was part of the tournament, yeah, doesn't matter how they die. If they die, they die. So we'll put you in box 24 with Latios, and we're going to try to go down here and hopefully I can add something else to my team. Okay! You won't die to a bubble beam, will you? I didn't heal. I thought it would have healed me after that last battle. And I know he has Bite, but obviously Becky has more HP. I feel like this thing's going to be kind of hard to catch because it's, it's not meant to be caught in-game. Well didn't want me to catch it anyways. So let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I don't understand why it would heal in between rounds of the tournament, but then not heal off the last round. Oh, God. Let's buy some more Pokeballs. only buy regular potions. That's the problem. No, I don't want to buy anything. So, I, I guess I can attempt to fight some of these trainers now that I'm not getting any more Pokemon on my team just yet. Maybe I can sneak past and we're almost there, Grunts. Keep on marching. Obviously, that's something that I can't get past. Uh, so let's go up here. There's obviously something here. The ancient ruins. With some crazy music. But I think... In one of these areas, there is some grass... where I can actually get um, an encounter. I just have to find 
There we go. There's also a rare candy right there. Probably won't use that anytime soon. But let's try to add a Pokemon to the team. A Delta Mistrivus. Please don't be a fire type. You flash. You have Powder Snow, obviously. You're an Ice type to counteract the Ice type that I just lost. And you're going to be paying to catch. Come on. Just get in the damn Pokeball. You match the Pokeball. And you froze me. Get in the damn Pokeball. Glad I bought more. Seriously, Mr. Vus? There we go. Mystery Vus was caught. We have our first Delta Pokemon. It's... Games... Okay, there we go. It's Ice Fairy type. The Delta does its best to bring everyone into the holiday spirits. It's only happy when everyone else is. Um... Ice Fairy Mischievous. Uh, it's female. Mm. Let's think. I'm trying to think of like a name that is kind of synonymous with winter. Can't think of anything off the top of my head, though. Nothing is coming to me. Well, I'm gonna name you... Heather. That's a name that I've used before in other games, and... Let's see, where, let's, let's look at Heather, our Delta Mistrevious. Again, in the layout, it's gonna show a regular Mistrevious. Adamant nature, which probably isn't good. It's Ivy's suck, and it's got Fairy Wind, Mist, Powder Snow, and Flash. So it doesn't have any physical moves. But we'll see how it turns out. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It's a little bit longer, but that's okay, I think. And make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.